Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. A quick unboxing video today. And this one's not terribly large and not terribly heavy. Um, it looks like it's in fairly decent condition for once. So um, most of the things lately have been trashed in the post. So hopefully this one won't be. So we'll just carefully open it and see what's inside. Always like to be particularly careful with opening because you never know what is in here. Sometimes people package things really, really well. Other times, let's, should we say, less so. So let's see what we've got then. Okay, well, here we go. Well, it feels like it's in decent condition. It hasn't been squashed. Ah, nice, alrighty, so. I can see through here, marvellous. How lovely is this? So we've got ourselves a Sanyo personal cassette player. And this one, as you can see, is the MG7 SP. So this one harps all the way back to the 1980s. And uh, yeah, some pretty cool looking cats on the front there on their trike. So lovely condition. This box is very nice, actually. Instructions all on the back. Now, it is one of those with the uh, the four pack. Now you may have seen in some of the other videos, those ones with um, the four battery cartridge in there often get overlooked and people forget to change the two at the bottom and they tend to leak and then ruin the, uh, ruin the unit. Now this one I believe doesn't have the actual cartridge part at all actually. So um, we're gonna have to source one of those, but let's just see what is inside for the moment. And just being really careful with the box because it is original. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go then. Look at this, fantastic. So in here, we've got the original Sanyo headphones with the orange foam pads as well. That's fantastic. And we've also got the unit itself, which we'll come to in a second. And some bits of paperwork here, the Sanyo warranty, as new, but long since void, one should imagine. So that's that. And we also have instructions on how to install the battery. Remember we referenced those, um, that little cartridge just now. So there we go. Also though, we've got the matching speakers. Fantastic. And again, regular viewers to the channel know that I use a pair of these little speakers in red for um, testing on the bench, just for a bit of fun to see if the personal stereos work or not. But again, they're in, uh, in fabulous condition, completely passive these. They're like 0 0.2 watts or something like that. Yeah, so yep, 200 milliwatts at 18 ohms. So um, just passive and just run off the power supply from the actual stereo itself. So um, anyway, back to the main unit. Quite simple in many respects. It's made in Singapore, so mid to late 80s. Just a cassette player, no radio on this model and just the three transport buttons or two really, play, fast forward, and stop of course is there, which also is your eject button, but that works by removing the, sorry, moving the lever up there to eject the cassette once it's inside. So nothing happens when the lid's closed, but when there's a tape in there, that'll pop open. Anyways, so again, one headphone socket there and a split volume left and right channel. So that effectively acts as kind of a master volume if you move them both, but then you've got kind of like a balance control, I suppose, if you split them. That's it. So you've got your two little uh, little cutouts there for um, for your strap. By the way, apologies for the cuts and gouges on my fingers at the moment. Um, I've just installed some new racking for the workshop um, to house the uh, the products that we've got repairing on the channel. Um, and I did manage to catch myself a few times on that and slice my fingers, but uh, hey ho. So the battery cover is present. However, you will see that on this particular model, it's missing its little drop-in cartridge. I think we may have one somewhere or we'll source one from a donor machine. Um, but apart from that, um, the actual unit itself is in fabulous condition. Look how clean that is. It kind of does beg the question in some respects as to why that's missing when everything else is in such lovely condition. I would imagine that somebody played it to start with and then put it back in the box and it probably rotted out all the connections and the terminals. And then I guess they probably 
threw it away or tried to fix it and couldn't fix it or something. Um, but that being said, you see, the actual terminals inside don't look too bad, actually. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll find ourselves a new cartridge to drop in there. And then that will be gorgeous. We'll probably put a new belt in there as well. It's only a simple, simple mechanism. I think this one, I'm guessing just the three screws and then the belts will be visible just underneath the motor. The motor will be there. Single belt, I think, just like the MGP9. So um, that's that. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. So do please subscribe and hit the notifications bell for updates. And we'll see if we can source the battery cartridge for that. Also, we've got loads of stuff being repaired and restored at the moment as well. So do check out those videos and yeah, it'd be great to have you on board. So thanks very much for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye bye for now.